This is the Gay Agenda on Gay SA Radio, where you are family. We are still celebrating International Day against Homophobia, uh, that, and of course Transphobia and Biophobia. And we have a very interesting man on the line with us, a man who is running uh, a boss blog. This blog, um, I've actually just recently discovered it, but I've been telling everyone about it. And yeah, how are you doing, Mike? Uh, I'm good. And I'm, you? I'm, I'm great. I'm fabulous. Happy Idaho, by the way. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Even though it's not like, uh, you know, really um, exciting here. Yeah, Nigeria, I can imagine. Of course. Really happening, of course. You know, ha- tell us a bit about yourself and what inspired you to start this blog. Um, I'm Mike Damon. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I did, um, because the environment, especially here in Nigeria, it's not very tolerant, mm-hmm. you know of LGBT people and looking at the media, you know, more especially here in Nigeria hasn't really been, you know, very helpful in terms of reporting positively, you know, to, you know, about issues concerning the LGBT, Mm -hmm. you know. So um, I looked at the whole situation and I decided to, you know, give voice, you know, to individuals who've suffered in one way or the other as a result of the anti-LGBT law that we have currently in the country, mm-hmm. you know. Have you yourself suffered personally as a result of the L- anti-LGBTI laws in your country? Um, I wouldn't say directly you know, that I have suffered any form of a... But I have been intimidated, you know, one or two times, you know, where some people, you know, have actually attacked me and collected certain items from me and claiming that, you know, I will be exposed if just in case I want to, you know, go on and, you know, do something about that. So it's, 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 uh, I have been directly, you know, been um, intimidated as a result of the law that we have in the country currently. Oh wow! Yeah. Now, um, tell me how are you, how have you been able to get away with this, Mike? This is quite amazing because um, I mean, the mm. laws are in place and the internet is regulated, and but you are still managing to do this from one of the the most hostile a- areas in the world with regards to LGBTI laws. How are you managing? Uh, basically, I have been doing things on the ground. Uh-huh. You know, Nigeria isn't really so um, particular about uh, sudden out certain activities online, especially. It's been, um, I actually did, um, because before I registered the domain that I use, that is nostreetng.com, I made certain inquiries about if just in case, uh-huh. if my website will be shut down. Basically, I am not, regis- I am not, the platform is not, registered with a Nigerian hosting, you know, company. So it's actually outside Nigeria. So I doubt if just in case anything comes up, if they'll be able to shut me down. So it's, I've been on the ground, you know, doing these things that I do on the ground, basically. So, um, that's it. Oh, great stuff, man. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you have been able to keep doing what you're doing and to, to remain a voice um, in Nigeria with regards to LGBTI issues. Now, I wanted to touch on some of, um, some of, your, some of the issues that you've covered on your blog recently, um, obviously with mm. the headline being the police arresting six suspected homosexuals in Edo State in Nigeria. Um, do you, mm-hmm. what, what, what was up with that? Please give us a bit more background on that because I know that they, um, they were paraded for the media, which also goes to show mm. that the media in Nigeria is not exactly um, there to fight the discrimination that homosexuals are facing. In fact, they are happy to parade and to publish their names and their pictures. What? 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 Mm. What's that? What's that all about? Um, so far, I have been able to consult with uh, certain people. You know, mm-hmm. we work with certain organizations that are, you know, supposed to handle issues like this. So, um, I think from the information that I got recently, uh, two people have been released. So, I I called this morning to find out from um, the lawyers that were directly involved in these issues. Uh-huh. And they said that they were going to see if the other guys would be released, but I have not heard anything from them so far. So, I hope to call again today to find out conclusively what, what actually happened or what's going on. 
Oh, this is great. Um, um, your activism is so inspiring, and it's it's just so sad that um, your country is not making a big deal out of uh, today being Idaho. But um, yeah, you know what? I I, I think in time, in due time. Um, do you believe that though? That um, your con- um, Nigeria will ever get to a point where the law allows and accepts LGBTI members? Uh, particularly, it's uh, a very difficult thing right now for me to completely say entirely that um, uh, there's hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really difficult, you know, looking at the situation right now in the country and everything that's happening. A lot of people have actually lost, you know, their, you know, hopes. And some people are traveling and living the country, going to other countries where they can settle and, you know, have their peace of mind. But personally, I. I see that the things are changing, you know, with the efforts uh, we put together generally by activists all around, you know, the country, you know, the big voice that they've been able to put forth. I think things are gradually starting to change. So hopefully we should all be hopeful, especially here in Nigeria, that things are going to change, you know. So I'm hopeful. Okay. I guess that's all, you know, it's a positive attitude to have. And um, just lastly, what would you like to say to the listeners of Gay Essay Radio, anybody and everybody who is streaming now? Um, I'm also just reading your story about WhatsApp. I, I'm adding same-sex mo- um, uh, emojis. What do you feel about that? And what would you like to say to our listeners um, here at Gay, Ra- Gay Essay Radio? Oh... Uh, <laughs> I would say that um, it's a wonderful gay essay really is a wonderful thing that's happened to South Africa. I hope I'm just hoping that something one day would happen, you know, like that in Nigeria fully. So it's it's a wonderful platform. I say everybody, you know, it, it doesn't really matter if you're LGBT or if you identify as LGBT or not. I think it's a great place to get all the information that one needs, you know, to really drive you know, um, positivity around, you know, issues concerning the LGBTI persons. I think it's a great, wonderful, you know, initiative. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, that was Mike Damon. Mike, we wish you all the best of luck. Please keep blogging and, yeah, we, and, and, uh, uh, we will keep reading some your interesting blogs here on Gay Essay Radio and just letting people know that there is a voice coming out of Nigeria, um, a country that no one would expect anything of the sort mm. to be happening, but, um, you are doing it and you are doing it so well. Uh, we just want to thank you and, and wish you the best of luck with all your future endeavors mm, thank you thank you so much have a good one and happy yeah. idaho well, <laughs> <laughs> sure. and that was um mike damon as we were skyping um that he was we were skyping with him from nigeria and as we were skyping i was actually going through his pictures on 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 his um blog and oh my gosh he is a cutie i should have actually um said something to that effect but nonetheless uh that was mike damon uh you can follow his blog you can uh, go and check it out it's quite an interesting blog it's called no strings ng and um he speaks about uh, uh, everything that's related to LGBTI uh, individuals in Nigeria, one of the most hostile and strictest countries when it comes to laws and legislation that are meant to oppress and and basically just suffocate anybody and everybody who's a member of the LGBTI community. So, yeah, Mike, thank you so much for the great work that you're doing. We will continue to support you. This is The Gay Agenda on Gay SA Radio.